This is my productive desk setup. Many students argue that a clean and aesthetically pleasing desk setup is that little nudge that they need to be able to get themselves working again, especially after eight hours of school. I'm a firm believer that this is true, and I wanted to take the time to share my setup with you by going through all the tech that I use, how it's shaped over time, and why I made changes. So let's start with my high school setup. Okay, okay, I know that a cheap laptop with no accessories is not a great setup, but it got better. For example, the first major improvement came when I added a monitor, and in my opinion, the single best thing that you can do to increase your productivity is buying a monitor. It doesn't matter how fancy or expensive it is, I bought mine off of Amazon for $75, a Scepter monitor, and it's been a complete game changer. All of a sudden, I went from having to switch between tabs to having two open on my monitor and one on my laptop screen. The great thing is, is that you don't even have to spend that much. You can go to Facebook Marketplace or eBay and buy used monitors for cheap. Once I added a screen, I had no clue how I was able to be productive before then because I was now able to type an essay on one screen while having an article that I'm reading on the other. I enjoyed the additional screen so much that I ended up buying another monitor for a total of two. Don't judge how I spend my money. Then throughout my junior and senior years, I tested a lot of laptops to attempt to determine the laptop that I would upgrade to because I wanted something that would be very reliable for my next four years at Stanford. Although my old HP had served me well, the case was starting to get damaged and even the battery was just falling out all of a sudden. And on top of that, it could no longer keep up with my workflow because it was freezing with how hard I was pushing it. So how did I determine the laptop that I was gonna upgrade to? Well, I was on a budget, so I really didn't have that many options. I first tried modifying an old HP laptop and when it didn't perform as expected I then bought an HP Envy but then a couple thousand dollars of scholarship money started pouring in by the way you should check out my video on six tips to help you win three hundred forty five thousand dollars in scholarships that'll be linked up here seeing that I was now showered in dough I started looking for more premium options that would hopefully be more reliable and portable than the HP Envy and well I eventually settled on the MacBook Air. Now I've always been a hater of Apple laptops because their performance for the price was not really that good but when they launched their own ARM processor back in November of last year it fixed a lot of the performance issues that they had. Especially with the MacBook Air that previously heated up to over 100 degrees plus in a matter of minutes ouch, making it useless for any real work. Since Apple was able to fix these issues while taking out the fan and making it completely silent, I bought in. The total cost was $1,600, and though it did hurt me to spend that much, I now have a silent, powerful, portable laptop that has served me well over the last several months, so I really can't complain. And for anyone who thinks they need a premium laptop like this to have academic success, well, that's simply not true. And I'll talk a little bit more about the tech that you do need in a little bit. Shortly after settling on a laptop, I was in the market for a new monitor that was gonna replace the two that I had. And honestly, for anyone in the market for a new monitor, Scepter's monitors are actually quite great for the price. But given that I wanted to start video editing, I wanted something with better color accuracy that the Scepter monitor could not provide, which led me to HP's 24 inch MH monitor. It it was on sale several months back for about $150 on Amazon and I really like it because it's a bigger size and because it has the color accuracy that I wanted. But I do have to subtract one point from how aesthetically pleasing this setup is because the monitor does not match the brand of the laptop. In the best desk setups you kind of want accessories to match or to complement each other and in this case I was not able to do that because I'm a broke college student and spending $5,000 on Apple's monitor was not really an option. Next up, the keyboard, and no desk setup is complete without a little bit of color, at least that's what gamer TikTok says, and well, I bought in. So here I am with a Red Dragon Kimura Blue Switch keyboard that cost me about $40 from Amazon. Man, I'm just now realizing how much I rely on Amazon. Damn, I'm contributing to all this environmental damage. This keyboard replaced an old HP keyboard that came with an old desktop my family bought years back, and it has a lot of cool features, particularly with the colors because it spices things up by having so many modes. But the real reason I bought it was for this. The only problem is while I found the sound to be satisfying and classy, my family heard this. And to solve this, I unfortunately had to return the keyboard. Just kidding, I refused to do so, so I was kicked out of my office space upstairs and forced to move my desk down to my room. 
Now real quick, I'll share a couple of the smaller pieces of my setup. For example, the mouse that I bought, which is just a Bluetooth mouse that costs about $20, again, off of Amazon. Unfortunately, I apparently don't like the environment. And then I have this mouse pad, which I was given to by a friend, which of course I needed because, you know, I'm a big soccer fan. And last but not least are my AirPod Pros, which I tend to use when I'm working a lot, but I frequently switch to some pair of wired headphones or earbuds just because I like it a little bit more. Oh, and my iPhone, which I'm recording all of this on, they work really well together, the MacBook and the iPhone, so I'm really happy to have it. But now let's move on to some advice. Let's start with what setup high school students need to be successful in school. Well, honestly, everything that I have right now is not the answer. The old HP laptop that I was using several years back got me through two and a half years of high school, and had it not been for my increased workload my junior and senior year, it could have gotten me through all of high school. So what you absolutely need is a decent laptop that can handle having dozens of tabs open while also opening up the office suite. I don't know enough about cheap laptops to recommend one, but if your school provides one, I think that'll be more than enough, even if you can't game on it. Don't invest in a laptop unless you absolutely need the extra performance or if your school doesn't provide one for you. But if you're a high schooler, I do recommend investing in a mom monitor because if your school is anything like mine, the provided laptops have very small screens and that extra screen real estate from the monitor can go a long way, especially with online school. Now for a high school student transitioning into college, I do recommend that you invest into your own laptop, especially one that has a good build quality and that has great performance because you want it to last you at least four years. I have several options that I can recommend such as the HP Envy, the Dell Inspiron, or the MacBook Air. I have reviews for those laptops on my channel and currently I'm reviewing reviewing this Lenovo Yoga i7 that starts at $750, which is quickly becoming my favorite budget laptop, so don't forget to subscribe to be notified when that video drops. That'll be all for today. If you have any questions regarding my setup or if you want any advice on yours, feel free to ask in the comments. Don't forget to leave a like and until next time, adios.